Tell me. Ma'am, when both the lists have the same element. Both have. See, beta. See, what do you mean by subset? A set A is said to be subset of B if every element of A is also an element of B. Every element of A every element of A is an element of B. Clear? Now see, so you will write like this, A is a subset of B. Clear? Suppose A is the element of A. So then A will also belongs to B, na beta? Because A belongs to A element, this element. And A is a subset of B. Therefore, A will also belongs to B. Clear, mm. beta? Mm. Yes. yes. Now next is if A is a subset of B. And B is a subset of A. So it implies A will be equal to B or not. Suppose see A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Clear? And B is equal to also 4, 1, 3, 2, 1. Two, uh, I have written 2 times. Wait. See here, beta. Right. So now A is a subset of B or not? Because every element of A lies in element of B or B is a subset of A means both are equal or not see here A is equal to B got it this thing and we have already studied about the equal sets what do you mean by equal set having same number of elements and same elements too their order can be different like their arrangement can be different so here I have written one at the first one place and here I have written one in the second place. Right, Vita? Okay. Clear? Yes. Jaswan, Pritam and Dhanunjay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now next is every set suppose every set A is a subset of A means every set is a subset of itself. Subset of itself. Clear, beta? Mm. And empty set also is a subset of every set. Empty set is a subset of every set. Now, last is, last thing is, if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of C, then A will be subset of C now, children? Yes, ma'am. Right? So, by example, I'm explaining. First of all, tell me, have you understood these points? Is there any doubt? Dhanunjay, Preeta? Can I repeat it? Understood or may I have to repeat? Repeat. Okay. See, children, what do you mean by subset? Subset means, suppose, you can take your class also, 11th class. Right? And you are studying in, uh, suppose, anyone's school, DPS. Clear? This is your school name. So, this 11th class lies in DPS or not? Mm -hmm. Is a part of DPS, na? So, therefore, 11th class is a subset of DPS. Clear this thing? Yes, ma'am. Understood? Yes, ma'am. So, subset means every element of A is an element of B. Right? So, if A is any element of A, then it will belongs to B also. Suppose if I have taken any child from class 11, suppose I have taken you only. Suppose I have taken here Pritam. Hmm. Right? So, Pritam belongs to DPS or not? Yes, ma'am. Belongs. So, therefore, A, if now, this condition satisfied. A belongs to mm. A, then A also belongs to B. Now, mm -hmm. A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A. 
so mm -hmm. this is a different thing because dps will not be the subset of this 11th class na mm -hmm. right so suppose if i am taking girls not girls girls of 11th class no 11 the girls can be subset of 11th class but 11th class can't be subset of girls right yes ma'am so I am taking by example. I am explaining this. See, I have explained here also that A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A. This implies these two subset would be equal. So I have taken A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B, element, uh, B set I have taken 4, 1, 3, 2. Now when you are seeing these two, that A is a subset of B. The all elements of B, A lies in B. Mm. Clear? And all elements of A lies in B. And all elements of B lies in A. Mm -hmm. Clear, beta? So, therefore, it is a subset. So, these are equal sets. Now, next is A is a subset of itself. Suppose A is 1, 2, 3, 4. Mm. Right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4 is also a subset of A. This is the property. Clear? Suppose if I am taking any set 1. Oh, yeah. So, 1 will be subset of 1 only. Clear, beta? Yes, I have written it. So, 1 will be the subset of 1 only. And empty set is always a subset of every set. Clear this thing, children? Any doubt now? Yes, ma'am. Pritam, Dhanunjay? Done, done. No doubt. Jaswan? No, no doubt. Children, if you are facing any difficulty while... Understanding any topic, you can interrupt me in between, okay? Mm. Now see, why examples I'm explaining? For examples, suppose I have taken here A is equal to A, B, C, A is any set and B set I have taken 1, 2, 3. So, beta, A is a subset of B. No, no. Tell me. So, here we can see that none of the elements are present in B. So, therefore, it is not a subset. Clear, beta? Hmm. And now, suppose yeah. here I am taking another example. Example second. Suppose A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And B set is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Clear? So now children, if you will observe that A, elements of A lies in B or not? Yes, ma'am. They are lying? Mm -hmm. Yes. So A is a subset of B. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Now, yes, next topic. Understood, beta? Is there any doubt in subset part? No. Show me your thumbs up then. Now, I am explaining proper subset and superset. Actually, these uh, topics are new for you. Uh, you know, that's why. Okay, now see here. If A 
A is a subset of B. A, A is a subset of B. Clear, beta? And A is not equal to B. There are two conditions. If A is a subset of B and A is not equal to B, then A is a proper subset of B. Then A is a proper subset of B. I will explain this in the proper. Wait, I am explaining. See, suppose I have written here, A elements are 1, 3, 7. And elements of B are 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. I have taken these two sets. Right. Now, children, if you are seeing the elements of A, 1, 3, 7. Both lies are here. 1, 3, 7. Lies or not? So, A is a subset of B. And you are seeing also this thing that the number of elements in A are 3. And number of elements in B, how many elements are there? 5. So, therefore, A set is not equal to B. So, what you can say here? That A is a A is a what? Proper subset of B. Clear, beta? Dhanunjay, Jaswan? Yes. Or you can say this, that B is a, B is also a proper subset of A. B is also a subset of, proper subset of A. Because the elements of B also lies in A. Right? 1, 3, 7 lies in A or not? Yeah. Right? So, B is also a subset of, oh, proper subset of A. Clear, beta? Or one more example I can take. Just wait. Dhatri, good evening, Vita. Your mic is working or not? Show me your thumbs up, Dhatri. Okay, now I'm taking another example that A is a set X such that X square minus 1 is equal to 0. X square minus 1 is equal to 0 and B is a singleton set that means equal to 1. So now you can represent this A in set builder form also in roster form, right? So, you can write like this, A is equal to X square minus 1 is equal to 0. Then value of X square is equal to 1. Then values of X are plus minus. This thing is clear, beta. How you will write this? Yes, now, if you are seeing here that all elements of B belongs to elements in A or not? Yeah. One belongs to A. So, you can write B is a Super set of A. You can write or not. And the element of A also lies in B. So, therefore, you can write A is a super set of B. Right, beta? A is a super set of B. Subset. Wait, wait. It is. Super set of B. And B is a super set of A. Now clear, beta? By these yes. two examples? Yes. 
राइट एंड ए शुड नॉट बी इक्वल टू बी सो दे आर फोर ए इज अ प्रॉपर सबसेट ना सुपर सेट फॉर सुपर सेट प्रॉपर सबसेट बी इन केस ऑफ प्रॉपर सबसेट बी इज कॉल्ड सुपर सेट ऑफ ए क्लियर दिस थिंग सी ए बी इज अ सबसेट ऑफ ए I have written here. B is a subset of A. No. Tell me. I have it written is. here. B is a subset no. of A. No. A proper subset. B is a proper subset. Yes. And also, I have checked that element of B lies in element of A. This thing I have, I have already checked. See, element of A is one lies in B also. Yeah. Clear. So A is a super set of B. Clear this thing. Hmm. Mom, what is the difference between proper subset and uh, super set? Proper and super subset. The difference between these two are. See, beta. In proper subset, see. In proper sub subset, I have. A is a subset of B. This thing clear? Proper subset. A is a proper subset of B, and A is not equal to B. This condition is there, right? Now, in case of super set, what you can say that that A contained in B, <coughs> right? A contained in B. You can. Uh, Read it like this also. This also that A contained in B. That means the element of A lies in element of B, right? And B contains A. B contains A or B. Clear, vice versa. So therefore, it is a super set. Is a super set. Have you understood the difference? Yeah. in proper subset c in proper subset all elements of a will contained in b right and in this elements of b contained in b elements of a contain in b and b elements also contain in a clear this thing so therefore it is called super set or i am explaining an example suppose p is a subset of word school so p school word how you can write in from the subset in the set you will write s c h o l you will write like this or not yes ma'am and q be a set of scholar so q set you will write like this s c h o l a r also because all elements are different clear beta now clearly you can say see this thing that p is a subset of q right is it clear yes p elements of p contained in q but see s c h h o l only contain A and R are not containing it in it, right, beta? Yes, ma'am. Or one more example I can take like this: A is equal to one, three, five. Let me raise this page first. Of all. 
see it. If I'm taking here example this, let A is equal to 1, 3, 5. Right? And B is any set is equal to X such that X is an odd natural number or natural number less than 10. So, B, um, now just tell me, A is a subset of B or not? Yes. B is also 135 and A is also 135. Am I correct? Yes, so, A contain in B and B contain in A. Clear, beta? Mom, B is one, three, five, seven. One, what? Three, five, seven. Beta, number less than yes. Three, five, seven. Yes. Now tell me what you can write here. That elements of A contain in B and B elements of B contain in A. So these two are equal. Extra seven, right? Yes. It's seven extra, right? Yes. If I will write here seven, then these two will be equal. No. Am I correct? Yeah. But here I have not written any seven. So these two are not equal. Clear? Clear, beta? The three. Is it clear, beta? What we are doing? Just show me a thumbs up. Okay. Dadri, you are absent on Saturday, beta? And children, your test is on live. So kindly attempt your test. Only Dhanunjay, Dhatri, you are absent. Dhanunjay have attempt. Pritam have attempt. And just once. Have you attempted it? Huh? From Saturday's test. But a kindly I'm attempt added. after the class only. Okay. Because it will be live till 6 o'clock. Yes, children, now see important thing. That two sets A and B are equal. If two sets are equal, then A will be subset of B and B is a subset of A. This thing is clear? B contained in A and A contained in B. Or conversely, both things will be equal. Conversely, B contained in A and A contained in B. First of all, this and this. Right? Then, A will be equal to B. Then both sides will be equal, beta. So, if and only if, if and only if, if I am writing like this, it means if and only if. Clear? If and only if, If and only if for every, this symbol used for, this symbol is used for for every. For every, A belongs to A and for every B belongs to B. That means it implies that B also belongs to A. Clear, beta? Okay, we repeat that. Have you understood? See, if A belongs to A, if equal sets are there, this imply A will also belongs to B or not? Oh, yes. Now, if B belongs to B, then B is also belongs to A. A. Clear? Oh. This is the important point. 
you have to keep in your mind now next thing is now one more thing i have told you that a every set is a subset of itself right this thing i have told you so let a be any set so a will be a is a subset of a means that a is a subset of itself subset of a but not a proper subset not a proper subset okay, so yeah. a subset which is not proper subset which is not proper is called improper set is called improper set so every set if in an mcq you can be asked like this every set has one improper set because on today's class your test will be uh, your tomorrow's test will be based on the today's class only right so every set has a only has one improper set clear this thing children Yes. And pi has, you know that your empty set has no element. Hmm. So empty set is also a subset of A. This thing I have already told you. Right? And one more thing, that empty set is a proper subset of every set. Subset of every set. But not uh, i will write here except except itself except itself clear beta so a is a subset of a but not a proper subset it is not a proper subset so those subsets which are not proper they are called improper sets improper subsets and every set has imp one improper subset. Subset. And every set and empty set is a subset of every set. And empty set is a proper subset of every set except itself. Because empty set is not a subset of itself. Clear, Vita? No. no. Understood? Yes. How can if the empty set doesn't have an element? So if A has, has elements, in, how is it? Uh, your voice is not coming clear. Can you write in chat? So how is empty set uh, subset of A? Subset of A. See, I will make you understood how you will write the subset. See, suppose A is equal to one to two elements are there. Mm -hmm. Clear, beta. So, what are its subsets? First of all, first you will write empty set. Clear? Then 1, uh, then two, 1, 2, and then 1, 2. So, 1, 2 is the subset of itself. That means every set is a subset of its. Clear, Vita? Understood. Understood now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, next is, I will make you understood, Vita, how you will write the subset. Okay? So now next is okay, children. Now how you can write uh, if A is a set with suppose let A be any set, A be any set with number of elements is M. Children, what do you mean by the cardinality of sets? Number of elements. Cardinal 
धनुजा ऑर्डर ऑफ द सेट जसवान द नंबर द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स यस धनुजय नंबर ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स सो कार्डिनल नंबर और यू कैन कॉल इट एज ऑर्डर ऑफ द सेट क्लियर बेटा सो लेट ए बी एनी सेट सो नंबर ऑफ सबसेट्स विल बी नंबर ऑफ सबसेट्स विल बी टू रेस्ट टू द पावर एन and the number of proper subsets will be 2 raised to the power m minus 1 so let's start with an example suppose i am writing here a so i have to write write its subsets so how you will write beta subsets first of all null, uh, null set means empty set you will write then a only right so these are the subsets so how many elements are there see 2 raised to the power 1 so 2 because number of elements are 1 so 2 raised to the power 1 so 2 elements are there clear beta dhanunjay जसवान ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज सपोज ए इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री सो हाउ यू विल राइट द सबसेट बेटा Yeah, now here two raised to the power three because three elements are there. So yeah. number of subsets will be two raised to the power three. So that yeah. means eight. So your subsets will be sub first of all null set, then one, then two, then three. Now one two, two three, three one, yeah. and one two. Clear, beta. Now these are the subsets clear yes ma'am yes sir so 8 are the subsets right now children now come to power set power set so power set means collection of collection of all subsets collection of all subsets of given set right so this is the power set only beta if i will write all the subset within the parenthesis then it will form a power set clear beta here also it represent the power set clear now have you understood all the thing subset proper subset improper subset super set and your power set clear yes ma'am is there any doubt no oh, ma'am okay now one important topic i'm going to start today that is about the intervals sometime you have seen the interval like this c a b right so this is the open interval this is called open interval so this a this a A is left hand point, left end point. This A is called, and this B is called right end point. Clear. So geometrically, what you you can write, or one more thing, you have to note. 
in this open interval means open interval a b does not contain does not contain left and and right end point clear beta suppose geometrically this is x dash this is a x and here is point a and here is point b so this is a open interval see so it will not contain a and b it will contain only the numbers or the values lies in between a and b is it clear <laughs> clear beta yeah. jaswant pritam yes ma'am clear ma'am and this this is called closed interval if you will see bracket like this this is called closed interval so in closed interval it will contain theek hai it will contain all suppose it belongs to real numbers so it will contain all real numbers lying between a and b and also including and also including clear this thing about these two interval closed and open yes ma'am understood beta yeah i think now this much is enough you people are feeling bored i guess hmm yes ma'am yes ma'am okay pritam dhanunjay and jaswant beta today we have learned about the subsets how you can form subsets then power set and these two intervals intervals only closed and open and on the basis of these topic only you will see your tomorrow's test clear and today our test also i request you i order you to attempt that test okay okay clear jaswan preeta okay beta bye bachcha good afternoon